This is Dave, NZ1J, and I'm going to demonstrate a Doppler type radio direction finder. We're operating on two meters. There's a transmitter on the car behind me. This is the Doppler direction finder. So let's go through this just a little bit. There's two dipole antennas, and they're about 12 inches apart. This circuit is going to electronically switch between the two antennas at an audio rate. Now, right now, the circuit is turned off, but the receiver is on. So we're going to listen to the receiver for just a second. So I think you can hear the beeps. Those are being sent by the transmitter. Now I'm going to turn on the Doppler detect detector. Now you should be able to you should be able to hear the tone. The tone is being generated by the Doppler detector. The lights tell us whether the transmitter is to the left or to the right of the detector. So here's the detector. I'm now aimed in this direction. The car is where the transmitter is, and the two green lights on the left say the transmitter is to our left. I'm going to come around like this. One light says we're off axis, but not as much as two. And now it's saying this way to the transmitter. Come around a little further, and now it says the transmitter is to the right of where we're pointing. Let's go completely around in a circle and see how it tracks. It's still saying that the transmitter is to our right, now, it's saying it's neither to our left nor our right, but it is behind us, not in front of us. Here's how we tell the difference. If I go to the left, it's telling me it is still to your left. So I move to the left, and it's saying it is to my left. There's back center. I move to the right, it says it is to my right. That's how we know it's behind us. I'll show you the difference when we're pointed with it in front of us. So here it is saying it's to our left. All this time it's to our left. Now it's saying we're pointed to the transmitter. Now here's the distinction. With the transmitter in front of us, when I move to the left, it says the transmitter's to the right. This is the opposite of what we saw when it was behind us. This is how you know the difference between transmitter in front of you and transmitter behind. So I'm pointed to the left of the transmitter and the rule is go in the direction of the lights. So when we were backwards, it would tell us, keep turning until you're not backwards anymore. So now here we go. That says it's to the left of the receiver, and now it's to the right of the receiver. I'm going to sweep like this, because this gives me a firm indication that I'm surrounding the proper bearing and not getting some reading that's false, maybe due to a reflection or something. So here we go. We start moving towards the transmitter. And I'm just sweeping back and forth. Now you could also take a bearing and move off, take another bearing and find where the two bearings intercept. But instead, right now, I'm just tracking. And when you're in close, like this, we're at a soccer field, tracking makes sense. If you were several miles from the transmitter, it makes sense to take a bearing, move to another location, take another bearing, plot the bearings on the map, and see where that takes you. So you don't need to do the sweeping back and forth each time, but it, it makes sense. It helps you make sense out of your readings. In fact, let's intentionally go off axis a little bit just to see the behavior. So if the transmitter is to our left during all of this, and we're intentionally going in the wrong place, but just to observe what it does. So there we are, pointed at the transmitter again. And if I were to go in this direction for a time, it's telling me the transmitter is to my right during all of this. So now, and there we are. So if you see the blue light on the car, that is the transmitter, and this has brought us in. So that's a brief demonstration of the Doppler direction finder.